Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Welcome to St. John's Hoxton, whether you're here in the building with us or joining us online, it's great to be worshipping together today. And if this is your first time with us, you're particularly welcome. My name is Louise, and I'm part of the team here at St. John's Hoxton, and I'm co-leading our service today with... Esther. So I just said my name is Esther, and I'm co-leading the service today. In our service today, we'll join in worshiping God together, and we'll have a Bible reading and a talk. We'll pray for one another and for the world, and we'll celebrate Holy Communion together. All the words you need during the service will appear on the screens, and there'll be no kids in youth groups today, as we're having an all-age service. We're staying together as a church family for our service today. We'll be serving tea and coffee after the service and refreshments and feel comfortable to talk to anybody you haven't spoken to before. If you need any help, speak to any members of the welcome team. So as we begin our worship today, let's take a moment of quiet to return to God through the repentance and confession. We all have ways in which we've turned away from God Forgetting him, disobeying him, sometimes ignoring him. And this time of confession is a chance to turn around, to face him, to turn from the darkness and into the light of his love. And so with confidence in God's mercy and grace, we pray together our prayer of confession, saying, Father God, we are sorry for the things we do and say and think that make you sad and for not thinking of others before ourselves. Please forgive us and help us to love you and other people more and more. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please stand if you are able to. We are now going to spend some time singing some songs of worship to God.
risen Christ, for whom no door is locked, no entrance is barred. Open the door of our hearts that we may seek the good of others and walk the joyful road of sacrifice and peace to the praise of God the Father. Amen. Please remain standing as we declare the faith that unites us using the words of this short family creed. The words will come up for you on the screen. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God, the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please do be seated, church. If you joined us since the start of the service, welcome. It's now time for our church family news. I'm Andrew, and this is Church Family News. On Sunday the 28th of April, after our morning service, we are holding our annual parish church meeting, which is an opportunity to celebrate all that God has done at St John's over the past year. To appoint uh, new church wardens and a new PCC, Parish Church Council, uh, to help serve in the year ahead, and most exciting of all, to uh, receive the 2023 annual report and accounts. All are invited to attend. For more information, please go to stjohnshoxton.org.uk forward slash APCM. On Sunday, the 5th of May, Bishop Joanne will be leading our Sunday service, which will also be a service of confirmation. Confirmation is an opportunity for anyone who has been baptised, perhaps a long time ago as a child, to uh, confirm uh, their faith uh, as an older youth or, or as an adult. Uh, if you are interested in being confirmed, please visit sjh.org.uk forward slash baptism or speak to a member of the clergy team. I'm Andrew, and this has been Church Family News. Great, I'm going to now invite Larry to come up. And Larry's going to talk to us about our giving pyramid. Body church uh, that, that wasn't planned um, great to see you all here today and for those of you online great to see you as well or thank you for watching with us um, I'm here just to take a few moments to discuss with you our ongoing church initiative here the giving pyramid thank you <laughs> okay thank you thank you thank you <laughs> um it's just this um giving pyramid is just an initiative we have here at st john's to increase our congregational giving to you know we're trying to raise about twenty thousand pounds extra per year to you know fulfill the mission of the church which is a lovely beacon of hope and i am very thankful and happy to say that we're just about a third no it's about no, about 40% there. Hooray! Hooray! Whoop, whoop! whoop, whoop. Uh, 
Uh, thank you for that. Um, we just want you to think, to pray, and, you know, think how much you can give. Um, you've been given these lovely giving pyramid cards. We have different amounts from, running from 10 pounds to 250. Please think, pray on it. How much you can give, as much as you can, as little as you can. God will continue to bless and um, enrich you. Um, you can redeem your pledges if you don't know. After filling out these cards, you can go online to our church suites. Fill out the amount there if you want to start giving or you want to increase your giving. Also, um, if you just want to start giving and you're not too sure where to start or what to do, we have our lovely treasurer here, Daniel Pratt. Is he here today, this morning? Okay, there he is. Yep. Yeah, let everyone see you. Okay. He has his laptop. You can speak to him or any of the clergy staff or the church wardens, myself or Anne-Marie, She's somewhere at the back there to um, help out with um, that. Um, God will continue to bless you as you and enrich your, you and your family as you continue to fulfill the mission of um, the church. And yes, hopefully by this time next week, we'll get almost 60-70% if possible. God bless you all. Once again, welcome to St. John's Hoxton. If you've never completed, I don't have a welcome card, forgive me. But if you've never completed the welcome card, please do fill one and give it to someone in the welcome team at the rack or pop it in the offering box. This will enable us to get in touch with you and find out what we can to help you be involved in the life of our church. If you're watching online, you can also do this digitally by visiting www.sjh.org.uk forward slash well, now it comes to the time of our Bible reading, so I'm going to invite Camille and Tamara to come up and bring our Bible reading, and after that, Doreen will come and speak to us. So, Camille and Tamara. Taken from Matthew 26, 31, 45. Jesus' followers will all leave him. Read by Camille. Jesus told the followers, Tonight you will lose your faith because of me. It is written in the scriptures. I will kill the shepherd and you will sheep the scatter. But after I rise from death, I will go ahead, in of, I'll go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter said, all of, the, uh, all of the other followers may lose their faith because of you. Jesus, but I will never lose my faith. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. Tonight you will say, don't, you don't know me. You will say this three times before the rooster crows. But Peter said, I will never say that. I don't know you. I will even die with you. All and all the other followers said the same thing. Jesus prays alone. Then Jesus went with his followers to a place called Gethsemane. He, he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He told Peter and the two sons of Zebedee to come with him. Then Jesus began to, to be very sad and troubled. He said to Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, my heart is full of sorrow and breaking with sadness. Stay here, here and with me and watch. Then Jesus walked a little farther away from them. He fell to the ground and prayed. My father, if it is possible, do not give me this cup of suffering, but do what you want, not what I want. Then Jesus went back to his followers and found them asleep. Jesus said to Peter, you men could not stay awake with me for one hour? Stay awake and pray for strength against temptation. 
Your spirit wants to do what is right, but your body is weak. Then Jesus went away for a second time. He prayed, my father, if it is not possible for this painful thing to be taken from me, and if I must do it, then I pray that what you want will be done. Then Jesus went back to the followers. Again, he found them asleep because their eyes were heavy. So Jesus left them, went away one more time and prayed. This third time he prayed, he said the same thing. Then Jesus went back to the followers and said, you are still sleeping and resting? The time has come for the Son of Man to be given to sinful people. Get up, we must go. Here comes the man who has turned against me. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, church. How are we today? Good, good, good. Okay. Right. So, thank you. Beautiful reading, girls. So, I remember the year 1999. I remember the year 1999. Some of you are not even born yet. So you know how old we are? Um, I remembered I, I had, in, the, in my house, we have a safe uh, where we keep all the documents and stuff like that, all the passports, birth certificates and everything. And I remembered my father handing me the key. And my father said, make sure you put the key back where you found it. And I went, yeah, 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 okay, okay, I will. And then just when I was about, the next time I wanted to go in to grab something, I went, where did I put the key again? Like, where did I put that key again? And then I remember going to this panic mode, this, this panic mode, just going, my father is going to kill me because I don't know where the key is and he's really, really going to kill me. And I remember walking into, stepping into this room and I went, Lord, Only you can save me right now. Like, only you. I said, and I made a pact. I said, Lord, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to clear my mind. Everything, clear all my mind. You just speak to me. I'm going to surrender to you my mind. Just speak to me and I will follow. And I remembered clearly, he said, walk to the table. Just walk to your table. And I walked to my study table. And he said, look at the mess on your table. Lift up the, this pile of books. And as I lift up those pile of books, there was the key sitting there. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And that is what happens when you surrender and just listen to the Lord. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for gathering all of us in this house, in your house, and also online. Lord Jesus, we pray, Lord Father, that you speak through me. May the words that come out of my mouth is yours and not mine. Lord Jesus, we pray for hearts to be open, ears to hear your word. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone says, Amen. Amen. So this morning, the title of my message is Surrender It All to Jesus. Possible or impossible? I'm not sure. But I just remember I forgot something. Guys, youth, can you all come down here? Kids, come and join me. I just felt like, oh, I'm a bit lonely here. It's like there's a carpet here. What's the carpet here? Kids, youth, anyone wants to come and join me? Come. Let's come. Sit down completely forgot. Like, come on. Oh, and it's clean. We just had the carpet clean, people. We just had the carpet clean. Come, 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 come. (gasps) Let's see. Let's sit. Amazing. See, I'm not that lonely anymore. (laughs) Great. Okay, so The meaning of the word surrender is to give up or hand over, typically on compulsion or demand. Note, the word give up or hand over, meaning to cling on or hanging on loosely but with palms wide open. 
So today I'll be looking at Bible characters. I'll be looking at Bible characters that failed to come when it comes to surrendering. Remember Tamara just read, three times they pr- Jesus said, do not go to sleep, but they went to sleep. Okay. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 24 to 25, Jesus told his disciple, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. So let's take a few steps and see what is it to lead a surrendered life. Surrendered life following Jesus. Number one, we need to be open to surrendering. I wasn't open to surrendering. I thought I could actually find the key by myself. Like honestly, people, I spent days looking for that key. And finally, I decided, you know what? I need to, I need to seek a higher, higher power. And I had to surrender to Jesus. So in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, 25, Jesus told his disciples, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself and take up the cross and follow me. And this is an open invitation to surrender for us to walk alongside of Him. This may sound really easy, but can I say it's a hard thing to do? A lot of us like to take the easy route. It's like walking past a sweet shop. You're walking past a sweet shop and you go, Lord, I do not have any money, but I surrender to you, Lord. The pack, I just want that pack of Haribos that is sitting just there, just there. Yes, I know. You love it. A pack of Haribos. And then you go into the shop thinking, oh, in Jesus, I surrender it all. And then the shopkeeper looks at you and go, and be kind to you and say, here you go, little one. This is a gift for you. And you're like, yes, Jesus. But then when you walk out, you see your friend. And your friend go, can I have a Haribo too? And you go, no. That's not following Jesus' way, is it? Because Jesus blessed you with it. And he says, follow me. Be open to surrender. If you come up, deny yourself. But you're like, no. The shopkeeper gave it to me, so I'm going to have it all to myself. All mine. Yes, all mine. All mine. And the second thing is he said, one is to be open to surrender. Two, he says, deny yourself. This is asking you to put down your self-will and embrace God's perfect will. I want us to be real now. How many of us here are judgmental? Well done for being honest. We can be like, I don't want to sit next to Raymond because I don't like him. No, I'm just joking. I love you. (laughs) Like honestly, I will sit down with you anywhere. Come on. (laughs) But God will is for us to love everyone, not being judgmental, not saying, oh, I don't like to sit next to that person because that person's, I don't like that person. Or when you see someone walking down the street, I can put my hands up. I'm one of them. Like, I'm looking at someone in the street go like, yeah, where did you just come from? Or you see someone like in their pajamas and you're like, you for real? Like, coming out like, what time and you're in pajamas still, that's being judgmental. And the Lord says, deny yourself. Put down that self-will and embrace my perfect will. And the third thing he said, take up his cross. This is not asking us to give up our life to be crucified on the cross. 
But we must understand the ultimate price that Jesus paid for our sins and what it means. Are we ready to follow God? Are we ready to give up everything and follow Jesus? So the fourth thing is follow Jesus. This reminds me, again, of the passage Tamara read this morning of the garden in Gethsemane. Jesus bought three of his disciples and he specifically said, do not go to sleep. Stay awake while I go over there and pray. Three times he had to do it. Three times. Why do we not listen? Why did no, they not listen to God, to Jesus the first time? And you know what? Why do we not listen to Jesus the first time? When he says, don't do it, you're like, yeah, I'll do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I'll do it. But don't we just love Jesus? Because even though he went through all that suffering for us and he died on the cross, but he's still patient with us. He's still so patient with us and he still continued to love us and he still continued to forgive us. And he goes, no, no, I know. I forgive you. I see you. It's okay. I still love you. Now, I'm going to share with you all tips to get to that stage where you can learn how to surrender it to Jesus. Okay? Back to basic. Three things that you can do daily and why is it so important to practice these three things. Okay? You must be thinking, um, you know, um, Graham always says this, Bosede always says this, Louise always says this, pray, read the Bible, worship. And these are the three things, pray, worship, read the Bible. But do you actually know why we keep encouraging you all to do this? Let me show you all an experiment. My helper, please. Come on, helper, move it. Sorry, guys. A little experiment to show you all. I promise you it's absolutely safe. Graham is going, it's very near the equipment. <laughs> I promise you it's safe. Okay. Yes. Okay. Great. So, we all know, careful, make sure it's on the table. Yeah, make sure it's on the table. Yeah, that's it. We all know that the enemy is real. And the enemy is always planting seeds in our life. Because that's the, what, the one thing the enemy wants to do. Is to destroy us. And, and to draw us further and further away from God. Okay. The seeds may look like these. Okay. These ping pong balls represent seeds. Okay. Seeds that the enemy likes to plant in your life. The seeds may look like what? Doubt. The seeds may look like negative thoughts, anxiety. I'm ugly. I always worry. I'm jealous. Kids, do you want to come up and put one in the, in the bowl? Come. Come on. Come and help me. Put one in the bowl. What do you think the enemy likes to say? To say what? What do you think the enemy likes to say? Huh? You're not worthy. You're naughty. Okay. Okay. What else do you think? Take this one. What does it say? Anxiety. Anxiety. Okay. What else does the enemy say? Anger. Anger. Okay, guys, keep putting it in. Keep putting it in. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Put it all in. And Rua wants to do one too. Leave one for Rua. Leave one for Rua. Okay. Okay. Sit. Okay, we can sit down now. Leave one for Rua. Leave one for Rua. Yeah, that's it. Put it all in. Put it all in. 
Okay, have a seat now. Brilliant. Thank you, little helper. Now, the first thing I, I suggest you all to do is to read the Bible. Spend time reading the Word. Why? Because the, the Bible teaches you all lesson. Example, this is reading the Bible, okay? And this is your brain, your mind, your body, your heart, your soul, okay? This, and these are all the negative thoughts that is in your mind that the enemy has been planting. I said, read the Bible. Okay, as you read the Bible, you learn because it teaches you how to be more like Jesus and less like us. Next, pray to God. Take time to be still. Take time to be still and pray God through your worries, your challenges, your negative thoughts that is in your mind. What happens to the ball? The ball pops out. And next thing, what did I say? Is to worship. Sing. Sing your heart out. Sing your hearts out. And slowly, you will see nothing but God's goodness in this bowl. <laughs> nothing but God's goodness. When your heart and mind is filled with the word, worship song, and prayer, you will know nothing but God's goodness. The best part of it all is now we can finally learn and easily surrender it all to God. Is it possible? Of course it is possible to surrender it to the Lord. If you're feeling ugly, and worthless. Psalm 139 says, uh, verse 14 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful and I know that full well. Do you think, honestly, if I were to sing this, you think it will stay? Because God's word, you worship, you're praying. Anxiety, if you have anxiety and doubts, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by praying and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Anxiety will not penetrate if you have pride. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 12 says, The heart of a man is proud before he is destroyed, but having no pride, goes before honour. It doesn't penetrate. And can I just end with Jeremiah 29, 11, verse 11 to 12. For I know my plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and I come, and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. So when you start practicing these three basic things, what you are creating is a space for God to come into your life, speak positivity in your life, creating hope in your life. Blessing you with wisdom, grace, mercy, kindness, and joy. And by filling your heart and mind with Jesus, the enemy cannot even penetrate. It can't even penetrate your heart and your mind. 
because you do not give them, him, the space to work in you. Thank you. All right, we're going to need a minute because we're going to need some space to do a little bit of dancing, aren't we? It's all age worship, so we've got another new icing pop song to learn, and I love that. Wasn't that a brilliant illustration? And I'm going to add dancing into the mix as well because I think when we worship God with our whole bodies, that's going to play a part as well, yeah? So do you guys want to get up on your feet? I'm going to get... Destiny and Brianna to come up and they're going to help me out. I forgot my words. Okay, so we're going to sing a song that's called Thank You. And it's all about thanking God for everything he's done for us. Especially at this Easter time when we remembered last week how Jesus rose from the dead. And we had an amazing celebration remembering his resurrection. That he died and came back to life for us. And we want to say thank you, don't we? We want to say thank you that he's still with us. And as we read the Bible and we pray and we sing worship, that's going to help us live an amazing life. Okay, so this song is called Thank You. And we're going to learn a few moves together. Okay, come on down, you know you want to. Okay, the first move is super easy. We're going to do this during the verses, and it's just a little click from side to side, like this. Let me see you. Go on, give it a go. little click. It doesn't matter if you can't click. You just do a pretend one. little clicks from side to side. Can you do that? Beautiful. Fantastic. Love that. So watch out for that. That comes during the verses. And then in the chorus, we've got thank you, and we're going to use the British Sign Language for thank you. So you put your finger to your chin and then you open it up and you do it on the words thank you yeah so we go thank you and then we're going to say I just want to sing and we're going to make our fist into like a thumb and we're going to push off our shoulder and then this way so it goes thank you I just want to say thank you I just want to say then we're going to say I cannot believe and we're going to put our hands forward like I cannot believe try that I cannot believe what he's done for me. And then we're going to do that again. So we're going to go, thank you. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say. Then the second time, it's the same move but different words. And we're going to say, where do I begin? And then we go, everybody sing. We're going to take our hands to our mouth and we go, everybody sing. This one's a little bit trickier than some of, some of the other ones. But we'll get it. And we're going to sing it again at the very end as well. Then we've got through the highs and through the lows I go with you here beside me. So we're going to take our hands up to this side and click, this side and click, down and click, other side and click. Beautiful. Then we're going to go with you here beside me. And then we're going to march because we're going to say every step I take with you, I know, yeah, you're carrying me. Okay, we're going to just do that bit again. So this is the whole chorus, okay? So it goes like this. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say I cannot believe what you've done for me. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say where do I begin? Everybody sing. You're doing well. Keep going. Through the highs and through the lows I go. With you here beside me. With you here beside me. We're going to march. Every step I take with you. I know he's carrying me. Beautiful. And then we're going to go back to our clicks for our verses. And then we'll do the chorus again. And then in the middle, we've got a little instrumental that goes la, 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 la. And we're going to freestyle it out. So we're going to do some clicks. We're going to get lower. And then we're going to do a big jump in the middle. And then you can add your own groovy moves. Yeah? So let's give it a go. Here we go. Turn it up. <laughs> Here we go. Clicks to the side. 
great. Off we go. You, you give me the love that I need. Everything I want to be. You are my never ending hope. You're living in all that I see. There is a future for me. My life, my everything. Here we go with the chorus. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say I cannot believe what you've done. Great job, Nathan. My life, my, my everything. Here we go. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say I cannot believe what you've done for me. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say where do I begin? Everybody sing. Okay, so it's great. Now, in the script, it says, now staying in an attitude of prayer. <laughs> so, just um, staying in an attitude of prayer. Um, we're, um, Jonathan and Amelie are coming to lead our intercessions. Dear Lord, we pray for King Charles and, and the royal families during this health challenging times. We pray for healing and restoration upon them as they take time to recover from health issues. Lord, we also commit the, the ministers of cabinet and the upcoming election of the next mayor of London. We pray that you, you will pour your guidance and direction of, upon the people of London as we prepare the next leadership of, this, of the London city. We submit that you open the door for someone who's passionate about the city of London, your churches, your people, and expand the Gospels through glorifying your name, Lord, in your mercy. Lord Jesus, we pray for the church and its leaders. We commit the PCC members, church wardens and our Victor Graham, St. John's church staff and all our church communities. This house belongs to you, and we pray that 
we continue to build and grow this community of Hoxton in your glory. Lord, let your praises and glory flow f of this place and may the people living in the surrounding area look upon this house and be your beacon of hope. We pray for all the upcoming annual pa parish meeting on the 28th of April as we gather to celebrate all that's happened in 2023 and to prepare for the next season of the new appointments of church warden and PCC members. Lord, we ask you to guide us with wisdom and compassion in choosing the, the candidates as they will be part of the next season. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing us with the congregation members that called this place home and continue to pour their servanthood for your people. Lord, in your mercy. God, we commit our congregation into your hands. Bless them with good health, especially with those who are unwell in body, mind, and spirit. We ask for your divine intervention to bless them with healing power, restoring their broken hearts and minds, and continue to pour your love into their lives through people of this community. We also pray for protection over the children in our community and bless them with good friends and a safe environment during this Easter holiday break. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done for us. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, we, we remember those who are in our community who are any, unable to make it to, the, to church and watching the service online. Lord, we ask for you to help them keep safe in their homes and we bless them with your presence as they sing praises to give you all the glory. We pray that you give them guidance and direction in their paths and remind them that you love them. We ask that you surround them with a good and righteous support system to be, to be able to glorify your name in their homes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Lord, we remember those family members who have lost their loved, one, loved ones recently. We pray for your peace and comfort to surround them and, and their families as they navigate this difficult season of grief and loss. We ask that for you to unite all the family members in love, joy, and peace. We pray that their lives will be touched by your divine presence. We pray that you keep, those keep these family members close to you and pour out your grace and mercy upon them. Lord, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for, for today, and we, rejoice this, and we rejoice because it is a day that you have made. We thank you for gathering all of us today in your house and blessing us with the glorious sunshine. Lord, thank you for being our provider, our healer, our comforter in the seasons of our lives. Lord, teach us to remember that you died on the cross for our sins. As you rejoice in your resurrection, we remember those in, in who do not you know you yet. Lord, we submit all these prayers in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please would you stand as we share the peace with one another. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Okay, if we can return to our seats, please, as we prepare for communion together. The Lord is here. His, His spirit, spirit is, is with, with us. us. Lift up your hearts. You lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Why is it right to give thanks and praise? Listen and we will hear. Lord of life, you created the universe where all living things reflect your glory. You give us this great and beautiful earth to discover and to cherish. You give us your love, even when things go wrong. Jesus knew hurt and pain. Through him, you wipe away our tears and you fill us with your peace. You made us all, each wonderfully different, to join with the angels and sing your praise, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is him who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We thank you, loving Father, because when we turned away, you sent Jesus, your son. He gave his life for us on the cross and shows us the way to live. Send your Holy Spirit that these gifts of bread and wine may be for us, Christ's body and his blood. Why do we share this bread and wine? Listen and we will hear. On the night before he died, when darkness had fallen, Jesus took the bread. He gave thanks and broke it and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. And after they had eaten, he took the cup of wine. He gave thanks. He shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my blood poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And so, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate his love, his death, his risen life. As you feed us with these gifts, send your Holy Spirit Change us more and more to be like Jesus, our Savior. How do we follow Jesus Christ? Listen and we will hear. Help us, Father, to love one another as we look forward to that day when suffering is ended and all creation is gathered in your loving arms. And now with John the Baptist and all your saints, we give you glory through Jesus Christ in the strength of the Spirit, today and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. So we welcome all baptized Christians to join in taking the bread and wine of Holy Communion. And this includes the children. Children, if you've discussed and agreed this with your parents. There'll be two stations for distribution. One with me with intinction where we dip the bread into the wine. One for the common cup with um, Daniel and Lorraine. Please raise your hands in front of you if you'd like to receive. If you don't want to receive the bread and the wine, please keep your hands by your side. But feel free to come forward for a blessing.
Our bread is gluten-free. Our wine is non-alcoholic so that everybody can participate. And the welcome team will indicate when it's time for you to come forward. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to
Jesus be the center of your church. Jesus be the center of your church. And every knee will bow and every tongue shall Lord God, our Father, through our Saviour Jesus Christ, you have assured your children of eternal life and in baptism have made us one with him. Deliver us from the death of sin. Raise us to new life in your love, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray together our prayer after communion. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to the praise and glory. Amen.
Amen. Please stay standing if you're able to as we uh, have our final time of worship where our tithes and offerings will be collected and prayed for. All right. We are also going to have some action. So I'd love to invite the kids and the youth if they wanted to come back down to the front. We're going to sing a few songs together to celebrate Jesus. Uh, Brianna's going to come and help with the actions along with Destiny. If anyone else wants to come up, we're going to do My Lighthouse. If anyone else wants to come up and do the actions, you're very welcome. Here we go. Sorry, wrong chord. Here we go. In my wrestling and in So this next song is called Sign Your Cross, and um, we've not done it in a little while, but it very ties in with the Easter theme and thinking about um, <clears throat> remembering that we're free because of all that Jesus has done. And it's got a section where it says, I sign your cross over me. And when we, every time we sing that, we're going to make an imaginary cross in the air. You can make it in the air in front of you. If you want to, you can make it on your body. No, that's not something we do at St. John's very often, but it's, it helps us to remember and to visualize the cross. So we say, I sign your cross over me and you can watch the girls for the rest of the actions. I sign 
Stay where you are. We're going to hit thank you one more time to finish off. for me.
Right, we're going to pray for our offerings. Thank you. Generous God, all that we have comes from you. And from your great generosity, we have these gifts to give back to you, given today and through the week. Would you please take them? Would you multiply them for the building of your kingdom here in Hoxton and throughout the world? Amen. 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 Please do stay for tea and coffee and other refreshments if you're able to after church. And if you're here for the first time, please say hello to anybody or any of the members of the church. Now let's conclude with prayer and a blessing as we prepare to go from this place and live as Christ's ambassadors in the world. Dear God, thank you for being with us here today. Help us to take what we have learned into our homes, schools, and places of work this week. Help us to be kind, patient, and loving in all we do. Amen. Amen. And the blessing... The Lord bless you and watch over you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us all this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.